All right, welcome to Studio S in beautiful central Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm live from my high school, Strathcona High School in Edmonton. Um, I don't have a camera, so you don't get to look at my pretty face while I'm doing this, but um, this video will uh, should be useful to you. It talks about using what's called the card layout, which is another way to work with the visibility of uh, multiple panels. And what I've got here is, a, is a, a website with just some very dummy content on the inside just to show you something. So what I have here is a button that says first card, a button that says second card, and the button that says third card. So as you can see, what it's doing is it's changing um, what's on the screen. And what it's actually doing is it's, I've got three panels. One that contains just uh, like a, a label and a, and, a, and a text field. A second panel that just contains something else. And a third panel just contains something else. So really, really simple and the content with no value it whatsoever. Other than to show you that I'm actually changing which panel is visible at which time. And so that's the, the main content to this. It allows you to kind of work way between multiple different uh, parts of your program. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to create a new Swing UI Designer, GUI form as always. I'm going to call this Card Layout. So Card Layout is the type of, uh, of layout. We've talked a little bit about layout managers. The default layout manager is called the Grid Layout. You can see it down right here where I'm pointing on the screen. So the Grid Layout is your standard kind of uh, placement of things, and, and IntelliJ puts in those spacers and some things that sometimes are helpful and sometimes are useful as you, as you go through. I'm just going to name this uh, main panel before I forget. Um, and um, what that will do is uh, it gives us the name that we can work with, and now we're going to put all our other panels inside. We're going to, in fact, have two other panels on the inside. Um, now, the, the layout tells how this thing works. And you probably discover that when you first start using the builder, the layout becomes is really kind of annoying to, to play around with those, those spacers getting your way a little bit, and so it does take a little bit of while of getting used to. But once you've got used to it, you can start to control things better by working with different layout managers. And we're not going to go into too many of them, but the one really useful one is called the card layout because that allows you to stack multiple panels on top of each other. So here's how we're going to accomplish this. We're going to pull in one panel at the top. And I'm just going to give this, oh, see, right away I got some space spacers I didn't want. I'm not sure exactly what I did, so I'm just making a control Z that and try that again. Uh, pull it, make sure it goes across the top. And I'm going to give it a, uh, a background color and a name. So I'm going to call this my buttons panel just to really exaggerate what's going on here. Uh, we'll give it a background uh, color so you can see uh, that it's different than the others. And there we go. And now I'm going to pull in a second panel. Make sure it goes across. I'm going to name this one the, uh, the cards panel. Or actually, you might want to call it kind of the parent panel um, um, of, uh, of the cards. Parent cards panel. I'm just going to call it parent panel because that's the one that's going to have multiple panels on the inside. So that's why I'm calling it a parent. Now, um, again, I'll give that a background color. Now, we actually won't see this background color uh, after we get started, but uh, again, I like it to give you something. You can just get the visual on it right away. So, the idea is we're going to create three buttons across the top that are going to control the contents of what's shown here. So, let's get those three buttons on there really, really quickly. I'm just going to pause the video so you don't have to watch me throw these, uh, throw these panels on, or buttons on. All right, so I've got three buttons on there. I'm just going to show you what it looks like in preview mode right now. So if we, uh, if we go into preview mode, you'll notice that it, uh, it just shows those three buttons and that's it. So one of the things we're going to do right away is we're going to alter the size of these panels to make them look uh, better, closer to what we want them to, uh, want them to be. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do two settings to the, uh, this, this parent panel. And the first one I want to do before I forget is I need to, before you add anything else, and this is important, you have to change to a card layout before you start adding additional panels. Once you've started adding additional panels, it locks in the, the, uh, the layout manager, um, is particularly when it comes to the card layout. So you have to make sure you, you get this done uh, first. So card layout, again, card stands, is, it, it means like a stack of cards and a deck of cards, like, a, like a playing cards. So we're going to have multiple panels stacked on top of each other. So because of that, you have to tell IntelliJ early that that's your game plan. You're going to stack panels on top of each other so that it doesn't try to, to manipulate where they go inside this grid. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to preferred size. And I'm going to say 600 comma 400. So preferred size you'll find is kind of a nice, a good way to kind of start things off with. And you can choose the minimum and maximum size as well. But preferred size uh, kind of looks good. So if I preview this, now you can see 
that it uh, it does have a size that we wanted to do and kind of looks uh, a little good. Now there are other options besides doing like just two separate panels, one for your buttons and one for this. Like there is something called tab panes, which kind of work a little bit similar in the long run. But when you're first learning, it's a nice simple way to go. One panel up top, you can see it's yellow poking through, and now the second panel that we've controlled. Again, very important before I do anything else is I have to make sure that this bottom panel here that I've named parent panel has been as created a card layout. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull in the three panels that are controlled by the buttons. I'm not going to add any content, any extra components to those buttons. I'll just change their color to keep this video short and uh, so you can uh, make sense of how it goes. Now, one of the things you'll realize is when you pull these in, they may or may not jump the way that you originally intend them to. Okay? So I'll talk about that in just a second. So here is I pulled in one panel. So I'm simply going to call this card one. Um, or card one panel is actually probably a little better. And I will give it, again, a new background color so we can really exaggerate what these things are looking like. So I'm going to make that one a red. Okay, so I've got this red panel. Now, what I want to do is I want to pal, uh, pull, uh, pull in a second panel. But what's going to happen by, by default is that panel may or may not go exactly where I want. So we're going to pay attention to this component tree up here on the left um, that you may or may not have thought much about in the past. And this is going to become really, really important here in just a second. So I'm just going to pull this in and let it drop wherever it happens to drop. And in this case, it's going to drop in the middle of the wrong panel. It's going to drop in cards. So we're going to deal with that in a couple seconds. So I'm going to call this card two panel. And I'm going to give it a background color that's, again, drastically different. Just so you guys can see, I'm not going to worry about how ugly this looks because I'm sure it will look ugly. So you'll notice that that, that did something weird up here. We're going to deal with that in just, uh, just a couple seconds. And um, actually, you know, I might as well deal with that right now. So the trick is, is we, want, we don't want this panel to be inside card one panel. We just want it to be inside parent one panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag that up so that it highlights or selects just the parent panel that we let go, and then it'll pop it back down here. Now, I may leave these old spacers left in there, so you can decide if you want to delete them or not for future ref, or leave them in until you're ready to use them. But now you can see I've got two panels that are, that are uh, on the same level, whereas before card, two panels embedded into panel one. So the same thing is going to happen again with the third one. It's going to say, we're going to call this card three. I'll give it a, again another color, something, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, give it a separate color again. Come on, there we go. Let's give it maybe uh, like that. Okay. And once again, pull that out of there, and now it goes here. And if you feel like you need to right now, get rid of that thing. Okay. So I've got no content in any of these. Um, all you're going to see is the color. If you want to pull in uh, content just, just for argument's sake, why not? I'll just pull in something at random under each of these just so you can kind of see those. Uh, and I'm not even going to worry about where they drop, just so you can actually see the, um, see the, the look of it. Okay. All right. So you can see what it looks like. So you can, you can imagine you can, you can set these up and get them to do whatever you want them to do independently. All right. So now comes the place where we have to start adding the code to this. All right, so before I begin actually writing the code, I want to give props to um, a, another YouTube channel that I actually use to look this up. It's a, a YouTube channel that, that shows how to use card layout using the NetBeans IDE. So I will uh, place those um, uh, a link to that in the comment or in the description below uh, to give that person credit. Um, so this may or not be the most efficient way to do the code, but I but it's four lines essentially uh, copied and pasted. So I thought it was a nice simple thing. So I appreciate uh, their um, their video that I'm using as a leaping off point for mine. All right, so card one. Right click, add a listener, action listener for the button, and OK. And so it's going to give you this. Now there's four lines of code that we need to do for each of the four. And then you'll see there's only you change one thing in each of the four, which is just which panel name you want to do. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do parent panel dot uh, remove all. So remove all um, gets rid of the other, uh, the current panels that are, that are, that are there. And then there's uh, parent panel dot add. So what do we want to add? Well, we want to add one of the, we want to add our card one panel. Then what we got to do is get it to say, okay, we want you to, with the, to redo the screen. So there is um, uh, parent panel dot uh, repaint. So repaint is a method uh, that you call to get it to re kind of re, well, repaint the screen. And finally, there's one that, um, that truth be told, I'm not exactly sure what it does. 
um, in far as the behind the scenes action, but it's it's revalidate. So so we remove the other ones, we add the one back in, we repaint and revalidate. Okay. Now that's it. That's the four lines that'll get this to work. We just have to repeat that for the other two buttons. So let's go to that card two, create listener, and okay. And we simply need to copy and paste those four lines of code. Card two battle, of course. Repeat for three. Okay, and then lastly, of course, uh, we need to create our main method so we can actually run this program legit. So I right click down here, uh, again, making sure that you are in the class, but not necessarily inside the, the constructor method. It usually works best. Generate for main, and um, we can decide if we want to change this or not, if we want. And of course, in the other previous video, I talked about resizing the window if you want it to be uh, different than what we've got, and let's hit play and see how she works. All right, so we have our, whoops, I hit the move, uh, ran my example again, my apologies. So this new one, there it is. All right, let's see if this all works. So there's my uh, card one box, the checkbox does absolutely nothing, okay? There's card two, switches with this radio button does absolutely nothing, and there's card three with this label that does absolutely nothing. So there you go how to create a, uh, a card layout so you can have multiple panels stacked on top of each other and demonstrate and show whichever ones you want at a particular time in your program. Hopefully that uh, works well for you. Um, uh, thanks, everybody. Have a good one.